Picture this. It's Thursday night. You get a notification that App State Football just posted on Instagram. Because you're a real fan and have their notifications on. You tap on it. And you see the craziest uniform reveal video ever and get so pumped for this week's game. Fast forward two days. It's Saturday. You get another Instagram notification. App State posted their game day graphic and the excitement is real. You like the post, you put your phone back in your pocket, and continue to tailgate, unaware of the hard work that goes into each one of those posts. There are 12 people on the App State video team. That team is split into two groups that film different things, and those groups are what we call Coaches Film and Proto. Coaches Film is what requires us to be at the stadium every day for practice. When we get there, we grab a camera, a handful of SD cards, and a radio. We are then given a schedule that tells us where we will film from and what exactly we will film. The schedule is normally marked for when we will have to change SD cards. This is so that the coaches will have film before practice ends. It's all pretty fast paced. So during the week when I do coaches film, I run what's called the stick. It's a joystick camera that's mounted to the scoreboard. The right screen shows you what you're recording. With your right hand, you can zoom in or out and move the camera. And with your left hand, you're marking the start and stop times of plays the entire practice. And if you're lucky, sometimes you get to run the clock and DJ the music for practice, but most of the time we're running cameras and filming. Since majority of you are familiar with Boone's weather, if the weather does get bad, we move into the indoor field, which a lot of the video crew doesn't actually enjoy. The practice is then split in half to offense and defense. Our schedules get changed around, and it's also just really hot in there, so none of us really like it. Alright, that's enough about Coach's Film. Here's a little insight into the world of Proto. Every week, we create around four videos. Everyone's favorite typically being the uniform reveals, so I'll talk about those. I normally tag along for these to get behind the scenes photos and stills for our graphics person. These specific shoots are normally last minute for a number of reasons. Some being scheduling, equipment isn't ready, or we need permission to shoot somewhere. Like for example this snow shoot. I found out the night before that it was going to take place at 9am at Beach Mountain. So I had to make sure I was able to pick everyone up and get there on time. It was super cold obviously so we broke the shoot up into sections so that the player could stay warm. We normally start with video, then take a break for photos, and then go back and get final clips and photos. The turnaround on these projects is pretty quick. We normally shoot them on a Wednesday, and they're posted the next day, Thursday, at 6pm. So it's just about 24 hours to finalize and edit everything. Now is probably a good time to say that coffee is a necessity for all of us. I guess that brings us to game day. The video crew shows up at the stadium around 4 hours before kickoff. This is so that we are able to film prayer circle and then get all of our equipment ready. Most of us shoot with telephoto lenses like 70 to 200s or even 100 to 400s if we're shooting from the end zone. When we shoot on game days or even uniform reveals we all use our personal equipment. Which is cool and all until it's raining or a player is coming full speed in your direction and you want to make sure you get the shot. This is me on ESPN. Try and get the shot while trying not to get hit. I guess it keeps you on your toes or something. So we shoot pregame, every play of the game, and sometimes a locker room speech afterwards. When the game is over, we go up to our office and we dump all of our footage into a folder. That's so that the quick highlight video can be made and posted as soon as possible. And once all that is done, we all pack up, go home to sleep, and start the week all over again. 